Alrighty guys, out here on uh, June 3rd. About half done with beans it sits right now. Had a good run today, probably down to a third left. I've had a sweatshirt on this morning, it's starting to warm up, but there it 30 or whatever when I went up to get a load of chemical it was 50 degrees outside just ain't right for June 3rd but I'm gonna get my brother squared away here get back from his honeymoon and get him squared away as far as putting chemical on and uh, it's all finisher and then uh, Go get the 255 and put it on the 24 foot tall finisher and uh, we'll start side dressing at the 9330 today. Gonna be a little bit of load for that 255 there on the soil finisher, but it, it'll pull it just not very fast can't run that deep with it either, but that'll work. We only got about 100 acres left to level off, so. It's great, dude. Let me find the driveway here. Not there it is. guys out here June 4th got side dress bar hooked up uh, first part of the video which I'll put on was yesterday morning got a side dress yesterday and things did not go very well went to get the side dress bar got it all hooked up about noon once to move some equipment around and hooked on to a tank went down to the field and uh, brake control valve here on here wasn't working at all it was getting voltage to it but it would never move so that was a minor problem at first had a uh, had to re-weld the thing on that holds the wing down the latch because otherwise the wings kind of right out of the ground so it's got a bolt that you tighten up on it and that broke so I had to fix that and had a leak on the on the uh, supply hose on the breakaway coupler coming back from the tank. Got that fixed. Then I had to go to the fertilizer dealer supply store and uh, luckily they had one of them valves in stock and got it put together about 8 o'clock last night and then uh, come find out the dumb or still couldn't get the dumb thing to work and had a couple problems. That the safety valve on the tank, they got for those of you who don't know, they got a safety valve on the tank like if uh, the hose is to break or something if it flows too much out at once it'll slam shut and that way it doesn't empty the whole tank um, and every now and then those will go bad to where to where you uh, where when you try to put any rate on at all it won't you know just shut and you can't do anything so then you go back and shut the valve off and then that opens them back up and so that was the problem with that tank and finally got rolling again this morning and got 140 acres done so hopefully here get another heading to a 20 acre field now and get that done tonight and then it's raining and we'll see what's going to happen here tonight or it's supposed to rain tonight and we're going to see what happens should be down about 100 acres of beans after tonight and uh But then we still got that north farm. Not sure what we're going to do there yet. So. There's a lot of ground still out to work. Uh, 
fair amount of it in the southern part of the county is getting kind of wrapped up. Y'all have been running hard the past five days, but um, this road right here had a rain there Saturday night. I think it was pretty pretty bad rain. You can see water still standing and some, some of the lesser drained areas and everything south this road didn't get any rain everything north of it and you know it seemed like they got a pretty heavy rain so we shall see i'm going about two miles north of here so we'll see what it looks like but come back to you when we get in the field here this is what busted off this thing this folds up the wing and this piece here uh, pulled out up here and then I, I added that piece in to give it some more strength Tighten down a little bit Looks pretty good up here, but we've had some good good hot drying days here this weekend 82% I call it And 165 pounds anhydrous and that's actual N that is getting put on and we had about let's see about 30 pounds no it ain't right I can't remember something like that that we put on the planter so we're looking at about almost 200 pounds of nitrogen. I really like this tractor for side dressing. It's pretty nice. And then having the auto steer pretty handy also. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use the auto steer here. I'm going to try it. Dad planted this at the Kinsey so he didn't have the uh, he lost signal for a minute. There we go. I'm skip the driveway there. I don't want to drive through the neighbor's corn. Not a very deep ditch. Smoke and there we go. This is why we bought this particular model of tractor is like the 4210. You can look down between the hood and tires and see the ground. Yeah. struck the AB line off the other side of the field. Amount this week that they're calling for. I don't know what's. A lot of guys don't know. I don't know what it'll look like for them. All 
while we've got them, you know, like I say, we can be a little late here switching stuff to beans, but a lot of guys, unfortunately, be between a rock and a hard place, especially in the northern part of the county. Really like side dressing the corn when it's this uh, small because you can run it over and give it a couple hours and it'll pop back up. open just running about five mile an hour I'm off the hill I said this before, but in a strip till it'll bust up clods because the center of the row hadn't been worked, and so then it uh, it um, will roll clods over on the little corn plants if you go too fast. Work and work ground is never a problem. Well, that'll probably do it here, so thanks everybody for watching.